Peace, love, and light, guys. What's going on? It's your girl, Crystal, the raw spiritual guru, coming through with your random pick a card. So this is going to be a new segment that I'm going to be making. It's called Mirror, Mirror on the Wall. So it's a random pick a card. It's um, basically dealing with four different aspects of reflection. So when you think about Mirror, Mirror, it's like Mirror, Mirror on the Wall. Who's the fairest of them all, right? So we're going to do that. So it's going to be like a self-reflection um, reading. So I'm going to try to do this weekly. Don't hold me to it, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do this weekly, right? So we're going to have four different piles that you could choose from. And it's like mirror, mirror on the wall, the power of four, right? So um, it's going to be four different piles. It's going to be in increments of fours for your message. And like if you see four, four, four a lot, if you might see... Um, like a lot of angel numbers like four represents like stability and security um so i have just a little bit more information on the number four so four like with four 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 you have nothing to fear in regards to your life the work and the divine purpose that you are uh, meant for so when you take a positive action towards your highest intentions aspiration and goals the universe will work in your favor and they will help you establish solid foundations advance your path it also represents home stability hard work balance security and determination right so that number four is so powerful i see numbers all the time okay i see mostly all of them my main numbers i see is 12 12 and that's basically um attracting your spiritual tribe um and you know being comfortable with your angels being you know guiding you to your path so 12 12 is my main angel number but i was geared to do the power of four for this reading so mirror mirror on the wall four 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 reflection of thyself right so mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all we have four piles and then i have a random deck so it's a bunch of different tarot cards from a bunch of different um oracle tarots i have purchased this online i was like oh that's different so let me just get it <laughs> that's just how i am so i was like you know what we're going to use this tarot deck because we don't even know what's going to come out so the message is going to be important for whoever pick whatever pile right so let's get down to the piles, okay? So let me adjust this camera a little bit, a little bit, so you can see a little bit more. Don't mind my sage. <laughs> All right, so we have pile number one, which is the hearts. Pile number two, which is the money. Pile number three, which is the spirit. And pile number four, which is the song, right? So what random message do you need to hear around your love story? What man, random message do you hear? Excuse me. What random message do you need to hear around career and finances? What random message do you need to hear around your spiritual life, your spirituality? Or what random message do you need to hear through a song? One, two, three, and four. Okay. So you could pause the video, take some time to meditate on whatever random message you want to um, hear. But we're about to get started. But before we get started, you know I got to do my spill. So if you guys like my rings or my necklace and the earrings and things like that, even the wine, check out my website, www.rootsoflife123.com. It's my metaphysical shop. Also, if you want any personals, you can check out my website and go under the service tab for your personals. For February, I'm offering a 20-minute love read. And for a 2 2, two, two you get two questions as well as charms pulled. And it's a personal love read which is a video reading for you to always have access to whenever you need to you know hear that message okay so take some time to pause the video to see what message you would like to receive but we're going to just get started with pile number one the love message okay so power of four right so the four messages that we have and love is caution this person is playing games so these are going this is going to be the main thing. Love yourself first for self-love if needed. Pull my hair, let's get a little rough. And then love yourself first. Okay, so I seen that. All right. So 
intuitively this is what i'm getting for like whoever you're currently messing with let me see i'm trying to see if i okay can't do that <laughs> um all right y'all so i'm going to basically just put the cards up because you know you can't really see it like that i was trying to see if i could make it like a little bit better for you guys as far as when it comes to like seeing the cards itself um so all right so caution this person is playing games pull my hair let's get a little rough love yourself first and self-love is needed so what i'm getting for your love story whoever chose power number one is at this moment you need to really focus on yourself you need to focus on healing any type of wounds that you still have open when it comes to your heart or when it comes to love maybe you jump from one relationship to another relationship whereas though sometimes you feel as though that um you're not getting the best of a person or you're not able to give yourself your full self to someone right um it could be that you use your your um sexual energy in a wrong way meaning that like this the pull my hair let's get a little rough and caution this person is playing games you might know like a lot of people that you entertain play a lot of games um but you might just be in it for sex so when it comes to what it is that you're looking for in love you don't know i'm getting like a clear i'm excuse i'm getting like a blurred vision as to what it is you don't know what it is that you're looking for in love you look for love through sex possibly maybe you like to have um different sexual partners you don't like to get attached to people maybe you're into like being a player um, a playboy or a play girl maybe you do like a, a couple one night stands um you might know that the person that you're currently talking to is talking to multiple people or even playing games with you um the guys is telling you that you need to really um focus on loving yourself you need to love yourself and, and and love yourself first. You need some self-love. So I have a self-love altar if this is hitting home for whoever reach, whoever touched this pile. Um, but you might need to like um, reach out to me for the self-love altar so you can get, get started on like the steps of loving yourself first. Um, you might really need to figure out what you can do in order to like get this negative energy off of you when it comes to love. But the main thing I'm getting is that you need to find love within thyself first before you can move on with any type of partnership um, or connection with another. Don't use your sexual energy um, for selfish gain more so utilize it to empower you to make you more creative to make you more lovable when you love yourself first you attract the romantic partner you actually are seeking right all right so like i said this is a big pile so we just want to get started so we're going to get eight cards for this love read and please give me some additional messages for this love story read and for whoever chose pile number one now these are crazy like because they're all different sizes y'all all right okay. all right that's too many <laughs> that's what i said like i actually use these for my own readings because i do my own readings as well and actually this this is this is actually really dope like i like the differences that, that this um pile have you know what i'm saying like i wasn't gonna mix all my tarot cards together so i was like well we can we can work out with this okay so you have a lot of the chakra energies coming out <clears throat> when it comes to your love story so you, like self-love you might need to work on your heart chakra a lot right now you might need to actually do some type of chakra healing when it comes to love one more please you see you see this is why a lot of people shuffle off camera <laughs> i don't know this is my first time doing it though so we ain't gonna be be like that right the chakras keep coming out but we ain't going to take that we're going to take this one all right so with the random deck you have the moon you have the page of swords you have the throat chakra you have the judgment card 
You have the mountain. You have the doorway of light. You have the art of life. And then you have the two of wands in reverse. Okay. So the story that I'm getting for um, this love connection, right? You have the moon. So with the moon, it's basically a lot of secrets and a lot of hidden things that might be coming to the surface. Maybe you have some type of illusions when it comes to love. You're looking for like the perfect love story. You're looking for the perfect partner. You could possibly be either a Pisces or a Cancer. Um, but I'm showing... You could be a Pisces or a Cancer or, or um, a fire sign or an air sign. But I'm showing that when it comes to love, you have like an eluded, eluded state or outlook when it comes to love. You have to remember that you're not going to find the perfect person. Um, maybe you're looking for love in all the wrong places when it comes to the sex energy. Or maybe you, um, you're looking for love in general. You're trying to find love when it comes to who you are so this this self-love is definitely needed for you right below the moon you have so this is the moon this is how the moon looks so like like i said a lot of secrets hidden things it could be duality so light dark good bad you might be having some type of nightmares um or you could just have good things coming to you like with the moon it's kind of a confusion fusion energy um you need to tap into your intuition to overcome a lot of the challenges that you have especially when it comes to love Right below love, you have the mountain, right? So with the mountain, it's basically saying that you need to tap into your self-love energy. So you're moving to a higher level of spirituality. You're, um, it says, um, constant, firm, stillness, purity, protection, attainable goals and opportunity. So when it comes to that and it's right below the moon, it's basically saying that you're trying to connect with your higher self, but you might be stuck in that aspect as well. It's like you're kind of in a stuck energy and that's kind of affecting how you view love. So when you work and focus on yourself, you'll be able to gain clarity as far as your spiritual life as, as well as what it is that you want in love. You have the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords is usually um, a clear communicator, like like someone that um, someone that wants to start like start something, someone that wants to communicate things. So with love, maybe you have hard time like speaking up in love as to what it is that you truly want in love. Maybe you have a hard time like voicing um your dues and you don't set in boundaries when it comes to love is right next to the throat chakra so because it's right next to the throat, throat chakra i showed that you definitely need to possibly um, work on your throat chakra when it comes to speaking up as far as what it is that you truly want in love you need to communicate your true needs and your wants from your partner you need to speak and hear the truth you need to um say what you mean and mean what you say when it comes to love um so you may be a person that um stay on the back line or allow your your partner to just like boss you around you don't speak up um you also have the doorway of light right below the page of swords right so these are the chakra cards um so with the doorway of light like this is similar to the mountain you're in a healing state it's telling you to Go to the light to balance both the light and the dark. Um, you might need to work on your shadow self in order for you to heal as well. You need to attend to your spiritual needs. You need to take care of your material well-being. And you need to be receptive of the gifts from the divine. So the divine is trying to reach out to you. The divine is trying to help you see that you deserve way more than you're getting or you're accepting when it comes to love. You have the art of life. So the art of life, it says, there is no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life. Be bold in your skin and let your love dance in sight. So like I said, that goes back all to this energy. Like you're you're a hidden and deep, you're deep, but you're hidden. You hide your true self when it comes to relationships or partnerships and love. But that's because you have a lot of healing to do first. You need to find yourself first and then you need to focus on loving yourself first before you entertain anyone when it comes to love, right? So you have the judgment. So the judgment is basically the divine is orchestrating things in your life. So if you feel as though that you might have 
um, certain partners that come into your life that play a lot of games or people that come into your life that's not good for you and um, <clears throat> it just don't work out or on and off toxic relationships that just don't work out. It's the divine is intervening. The divine wants you to see that you need to make a choice to choose yourself first instead of continuously being in this stuck stagnant energy that's not going to get you nowhere but continuously being a round and round circle. Um, with the two of wands in reverse, it's like you're stuck. Two of wands is usually planning to make a move to move forward. It's like you might be going backwards when it comes to your love life or in life in general because you need to find and focus on self first. So the divine is guiding you. The divine wants you to tap into your healing energy. They want you to tap into loving yourself first and getting to know yourself way better before you keep entertaining people in love. Okay, so that was a clear-cut message for whoever shows pile number one. If it resonated, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, my loves. <clears throat> okay, so for those who chose the career and finance pile, let's see what message this spirit has for you. Pile number two. So you have clear vision. You have lady luck is on your side. You have continued to push towards your dreams. And you have focus on your vision. So I'm just straight getting third eye. <clears throat> so focusing on your vision and clear vision. Um, and continue to push forward in your dreams and lady luck is on your side. Right now, for whoever shows pile number two. Right now is the time for you to push forward with any type of business or career ideas that you have in store for yourself. If you want to be um, a business owner or if you want to take a leap of faith on a new job. Or if you want to just quit your job and move to a new city to start something fresh to, um, you know, basically take, take, a leap, take a leap of faith in whatever it is dealing with your career and finances lady luck is on your side so this will kind of be the opportune time for you to do this whenever you're watching this video is timeless so if you clicked on this video and you clicked on this pile this was meant for you at this time lady luck is letting you know to take a leap of faith when it comes to your career and your finances that have a vision and then push forward with your vision but make sure that the vision is clear in order for you to be successful with any career or finance goals you're trying to achieve you have to have a clear vision so maybe you want to make a list once you make your list, make sure you focus solely on that list. Make sure you continue to push forward towards those dreams that you have broke down in that list. And just know that the uh, most high or your spiritual team is guiding you and luck is on your side. You, are, you will be successful once you actually have a clear vision as to what it is you want to do and where you want to go, right? So mirror, mirror on the wall. What do we have in store for pile number two? What do we have in store for pile number two? Finances and careers. Mirror, mirror on the wall. What do we have in store for pile number two? Finances and careers. You got a lot of reversals. Mirror, mirror on the wall. What do we have in store for pile number two? Finances and careers. Yeah. All right. So, pile number two. Right now, with your career and your finances, like I said, you might really be stuck. You might be stuck. You're trying to figure out how to move when it comes to making moves with your career and if you should like save or spend or what you should do when it comes to money so <clears throat> you have the cave as well as the peacock so with the cave the cave is is basically struggles with ego Go within the dark place of self and be honest to bring this to light deep in your unconscious mind. So you are facing your shadow side and your higher self when it comes to your career. 
um maybe you have some type of fear around making a bold move when it comes to your career maybe you um maybe you listen to naysayers um, maybe you listen to people that always doubt you when it comes to making some type of career move like you aren't really you're not really confident that's what i'm getting you're not really confident when it comes to like your career it's like you are struggling with the ego it's like you have ideas but you don't know how to implement the ideas or you probably don't feel like your in your ideas will be successful enough for you to achieve them the way you want to achieve them with the peacock spirit here um like um you might feel a little vulnerable as well when you do have um different ideas that you want to implement maybe you tell people your ideas and they get knocked down like um maybe you have like a lot of ideas around like um i'm thinking like beauty and pretty so maybe you want to do something like around like skincare or um natural natural things for people like to have people like be in their true self their natural state just show how beautiful one can be when it comes to who they are with the peacock spirit um like maybe you do surprise a lot of people with your ideas when it comes to your business but I don't show a lot of confidence behind your ideas it's like you probably tell people about it maybe you've been burned in the past where people may have even took ideas from you when it came to business because you wasn't as um strict about it and you let people get away with it you know um but it's like you're having a hard time with your ego you're having a hard time facing what it is that you truly want to do so when we go over here you have the two of pentacles and then you have the seven of waters which is the seven of cups so these are both opportunities and juggling so when it comes to your career as well as your finances you continue to juggle it's like you might be a jack of all trades you might have a lot of things you got going on or a lot of things that you can do so you are constantly juggling it and although these things do bring you money it's not bringing you the type of cash flow that you want like it might bring you a couple dollars here and there but it's not bringing you like a solid stable um what's it called it's not bringing you a solid stable revenue cycle so it's not giving you an additional revenue cycle um it's just basically bringing in a couple dollars here and there with the different projects that you have so this could be kind of confusing to you you don't have a clear vision at this time you need to gain a clear vision you need to Write that vision down, focus on that vision, and work towards that vision in order for you to be successful. You have a lot of ideas. That's what I'm saying. You have a lot of ideas. You even have a lot of options. People will work with you, but maybe you're a fast talker. Maybe you tell people a lot of the ideas that you have, and they don't believe you because you're always just talking. You're never really implementing. You're always just talking. You're always just juggling. You could also be bad with finances with this two of pinnacle cards. It's like you might always be juggling. You might pay. You might rob people to pay Paul when it comes to your money like you always feel like you don't have enough money and it's not that that you don't have enough money it's more so that you don't know what to do with the money that comes in you might get money and as soon as it comes it leaves you need to focus you need to write a plan and have a clear vision as far as your career life as well as your financial matters because you're in a confused state of mind and it's showing so you have the devil reverse and then you have being in the flow and that says i am in the flow of the universe so because you had the devil reverse that was usually toxicity but that can be that toxicity is currently leaving your life but it's still some type of toxic energy within your career life so if there might be a lot of the naysayers or the doubters that keep like holding you back or holding you um from achieving your vision and your dreams so if that is the case you need to make sure that you eliminate some of the people whether it's friends family whoever close to you even strangers you'll be surprised who really have um have it out for your want to wish your demise even with this devil card you see this devil like he continuously um avoid traps and still want to hurt so you might have someone that want to hurt your name or tarnish your name in some way or somehow so just be careful of that the universe is telling you that you need to be in the flow of things like i said have a clear vision work on your goals in order to to achieve what it is that you want that's the only way you will be successful you have too much 
chaotic energy and confusing energy that you're spewing out to the universe that's going to stop you in your track so you really need to gain clarity when it comes to what it is that you want and how you're going to achieve it so you have the eight of pentacles reversed and then you have letting go so eight of pentacles usually upright is the working hard towards your goals so because you're in a confused stuck energy you might be in a stagnant energy right now you might not even be working on your goals like i said you have a lot of thoughts you have a lot of ideas but you just don't know how to move or and implement them like you want to you need to let go of the fear you need to let go of the ego you need to let go of the doubts that you have when it comes to your career and your business life you need to manage your finances a little bit better if you get money just try to save some if you can don't pocket it um you know if you want to pocket a percentage of it take 20 percent, pocket it and put the rest away but you need to learn how to save better in order for you to be successful you need to learn how to have a clearer vision when it comes to your career goals that you want to achieve you can have them in your head all you want but that's going to continue to cause confusion and chaos in order for you to successfully succeed it needs to be clear all right my love so that was for pile number two if that resonated with you, pile number two, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, so pile number three, the people that chose your spiritual message. Let's see what the divine have in store for you. Time to work on your spiritual self. Utilize your spiritual tools. Practice patience. And light as a feather. All right. So the message that I'm getting right now, the most high wants you to work on your spiritual self and utilize your spiritual tools. So your spiritual tools would be like a wand or crystals or um, you can use sage, you can use candles, you can use like the fire salt or the sand, like your spiritual tools would be anything that would aid you in manifesting your your reality or your deepest desire anything that's going to help you within your spiritual practices so um they want you to really work on yourself you need to find your spiritual self you need to embody the mayat way with the light as a feather so you need to not focus on being like um, in the world more so being in the spiritual realm think about if you was to pass away and go to the afterlife and they weigh your heart on the scale with a feather will it be so heavy that you you know you don't excel forward you know so if you put your heart on the scale with a feather what would the weight be so it's telling me that you might need to change your way around thinking and how you do people um with this pile <clears throat> you could kind of um, be in a negative mindset with life um, only you know what that would be for you and it's not for everybody this is a general read and so whatever resonate resonate if it don't then leave it but i'm just showing that with this light as a feather maybe you just have a lot of heaviness on your heart that you need to release the most high wants you to practice patience so maybe you can be an impatient person you need to adopt um, being more patient when it comes to your life with yourself as well as with others and you need to focus on um honor yourself and honoring your spirit and tapping into your spirituality a little bit more i have a self-love altar that you could do this for focus solely on yourself healing whatever wounds that you have that is deep rooted um shadow work and things like that okay so you can reach out to me if you need to for more information about that so let's see what additional message your spirit wants to say? What additional message your spirit? What additional message your spirit? Or mirror, mirror on the wall. Pile number three. Oh, you get a lot of intuitive messages. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Pile number three. Spirit. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Pile number three. Spirit. What additional messages? Mirror, mirror on a wall. Pile number three. Like I told them before, it's a lot of different type of cards. <laughs> it's 
So they're going to be like popping. I'm going to only take what resonates to me. Mirror, mirror on a number number wall. Excuse me. Mirror, mirror on the wall, pile number three. Mirror, mirror on the wall, pile number three. Okay, two more. Mirror, mirror on the wall, pile number three. All right, so you have this intuitive card. I'm gonna just let you look at it real quick. So what I'm getting with this card is like right now you are trying to tap into your spirituality or you want to tap into your spirituality. You just don't know how. You probably have a negative um, outlook on like um new age or spirituality like maybe you are questioning religious or religion and spirituality which path to take the only thing i could say is to be true to your heart whatever it is that you want but it looks as though that you might be more drawn to more being spiritual and getting more in tune with like you know like crystal balls and wands and like um like even all to work and things like that but you're fearful about it it's like you're having some type of fear about it like you are surprised when you tap into that energy how authentic it feels for you but i believe maybe your the way you was raised maybe put like a negative context on your mindset when it comes to that so you want to just be easy with yourself and allow spirit to guide through you and be with you don't look at it as a negative thing just flow because below that you have the hangman but the hangman was reversed right so that's why i'm getting that you are see the hangman should have been like this it was like this so that's why I'm getting that you are kind of scared when it comes to your spirituality. The hangman is usually like someone that don't care about how others think. They're very in tune with their self. They're very spiritual. They focus on their selves and their mind. So when the hangman is reversed, it's more so that you might be doing things to please others. You might stay in like a religious practice to just make other people happy but it's not fulfilling to your soul right now you need to really focus on your spiritual self and what it is that you want for your life don't work worry or focus on anybody else because that would be your biggest downfall so be true to oneself right so then you have this card and this is just an um, intuitive card, right? So what I get with this card is you basically want victory. So you actually had the Six of uh, Wands, which is the victory card, and reverse at the end. So I'll talk about that, but it's like a conflicting energy. Because with this card, it's like you want to be victorious with the past you choose. You want to be victorious with your spiritual life. You want to be victorious with healing any wounds that you have. You have a greater understanding when it comes to healing yourself as well as working on all aspects that may have been deep rooted from childhood or traumas and things like that. But this is what you truly want. But with the four of cups being right under it, it's basically saying that you're not, you're in a meh energy. It's like, even though this is what you truly want, you're not doing anything to achieve what it is that you truly want. You are allowing the other parties in your energy to stop you from moving forward with finding who you are spiritually. So you're kind of putting yourself in a standstill like, well, you know what? If I don't move, nothing would happen. But spirit is guiding you to find who you are. You have to be patient because maybe you have tried and you wasn't successful. But spirituality, just like healing, is not linear. So you have to be patient when it comes to what it is that you're trying to find your niche to when it comes to your true self and who you are as a spiritual being. You have the high priestess in reverse. And the high priestess is usually a spiritual card as well. But high priestess came out in reverse because you are currently confused. You're not embodying your higher self. You are being weighed down by the energy of others. 
um, you have a lot of spiritual cards, but they're coming in reverse. You know what I'm saying? So that just tells me that you are, you're fighting with, you're fighting with yourself. You're fighting with your old self becoming a new person. It's like you're clashing with yourself. You may need to go into a deep meditation. Go to YouTube and just start with like guided meditation and then grab, meditate for 30 days. Go to YouTube, start with guided meditation, and then gradually try to meditate with yourself. You might want to reach out to Archangel Metatron. He showed up in your reading. Um, you might want to go on YouTube and find an Archangel Metatron um, YouTube meditation to heal what it is that Archangel is telling you to heal. You want to probably look into Archangel Metatron to see um the story behind this archangel and see if it's currently resonating with your world because you are deemed to be this high priestess but you keep embodying this clouded stuck energy like you rather just not know you rather just keep yourself blinded but with when it comes to spirituality and your spirit it's only going to be so long you can stay in this energy before you drive yourself crazy so you might want to just stop fighting it and allow it to flow. You have this door. It says the art of life. There is no sacred light in the aura of the invisible life. Be bold in your skin. Let love dance in sight. So you're not going to, you have to be bold and embrace your light. You have to embrace the spiritual side of yourself in order for you to fully be successful you have to be bold stop worrying about what others think with this six of swords and excuse me six of wands in reverse you're not victorious because you continuously worrying about what others think this is your life it's time for you to live your life how you want it's time to you to embrace your spiritual self i'm gonna just tell you a quick story like even with me like i have been doing like i've I'm a cancer. I've always been very in tune with myself. You know, um, even like my journey on life, just like changing my lifestyle, changing my diet, um, getting more in tune with like crystals, like crystals would just start calling me and I'll have like a crazy relationship with crystals, you know, and I just allow things to flow when it came to my spiritual self you know at one point in time like five years ago i was like heavy into like um bat baptist like i used to watch church online all the time like so my soul always yearned for some type of like spirituality you know um i used to meditate back then you know and then like i started changing my ways i even looked into being like a he hebrew israelite at one point in time and i liked what it stood for you know i believe the B bible is a very powerful tool to utilize like i use the uh, power of psalms i read it um every day different passages just because it's a magic book um <laughs> for real for real um and it definitely heals your soul in different aspects right so any even with religion I'm not like a big um, supporter of religion just because I feel like religion divides. If you can look at religion and see that you could take something from each religion and it can be useful for you as well as like being a spiritual being, it actually enlightens your soul. <clears throat> Sometimes we be so fixated on what the outside forces want us to do that we unfortunately like um, that we unfortunately don't be true to ourselves or we um, put ourselves in a box when our soul just want to break free out that box, right? So um, even with me doing the tarot cards, like I know some people don't agree with it, but this is my life. At the end of the day, if I'm guided to tell you a message, that's what I'm going to do. And that is what I'm doing. You know, you have to just find your niche and what's truly best for you. That is my best advice. It's, it's just the energy that I'm getting is like, you're just hesitant because you're nervous about what others is going to think. Don't worry about what others are going to think because you are a powerful being. Just tap into your true self. Look into Archangel Metatron for more answers. And um, you can reach out to me if this is really resonating to you, either through social media or, or my email, and we could talk more about it, right? But that's why I'm showing. Like, you just have to practice more patience and be true to yourself and work on who you are as a spiritual being. Okay, so pile number three, if that resonated, please like, share, and subscribe. All right. So pile number four. 
for those who chose the music notes we're gonna see what songs came out that have messages behind them that you need to hear right now so you have NSYNC bye 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 you have Lil Wayne money on my mind you have Charlie Puth you just want attention attention and then you have Rihanna stupid in love so this is all mixed energies except for this not really though so we put it like that or we could put it like this <laughs> I'm, i just like to tell the story so <laughs> all right so we got the charlie puth you just want attention we got rihanna stupid in love we got nsync bye 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 and then we got Lil wayne money on my mind so the energy that i'm getting from this is that basically you might have been dealing with someone who was playing games with you in love right like um they was playing games with you in love to the point where you say you know what i'm over this and now i'm just focusing on my money i don't even care about it so we're gonna sing a little bit so you just want attention you don't want my heart you just hate the thought of me with someone new this is stupid i'm not stupid don't talk to me like i'm stupid i still love you but i just can't do it i may be dumb but i'm not stupid don't want to be a fool for you just another play in this game for two might sound crazy but it ain't no lie baby bye 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 do you really want to make it tough i just want to tell you that i had enough might sound crazy but it ain't no lie bye 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 money on my mind f bitch get money f get money money on my mind so it holes told the story right there <laughs> like it just basically said that you was messing with someone who was playing games with you and your love and love playing like leading you on just basically trying to keep themselves relevant you want to look up all these songs if you want to to really fully listen to them charlie puth attention rihanna stupid in love and sync bye 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 and Lil wayne money on my mind um so you probably will want to listen to all of them probably in that row as well but like you just was over it you say you know what i'm over being a fool for you like i'm over this love like it, your love hurt like you just want attention you're just trying to pull me in leave me on it's like you probably not even in love with me just playing games but you know what f all this i'm on to this paper i'm about to get this money so peace for real for real watch this glow up and watch this money be made that part <laughs> all right so let's tell the story behind these songs please give me some mirror mirror on the wall please give me the love story or the story for pile number four please give me the story for pile number four mirror mirror on the wall okay please give me some more cards Please give me some more cards. Y'all, like I told the other piles, this, these are all different sizes, right? That's the only downfall with shuffling these, but I do like using these because it's so many different cards. Don't want to be a fool for you. <laughs> I'm just hearing that real heavy. The instinct. Don't want to be a fool for you. Just another player in this game for two. <laughs> Oh, see, there we go. All right, three more cards. Boss, push it to the limit. Ooh, chow. Ooh, yes, hunty. All right. So, you have two tens on the board. So, we just going to talk about it real quick. So you have the Ten of Spirits, which is the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands on the board causes burdens. So like I said, you might you might have burdens right now with um with whoever you was dealing with. It was probably a burdensome um love story relationship. Um 
it, it caused a lot of burdens in your life. You might have felt like you had a lot already on your plate, but you entertaining this person. It was not nothing genuine. You felt like you were silly when it came to entertaining this person. So at the end of the day, you just had enough. You were just done. This person, but the ten of so um, excuse me, with the ten of spears as well as the three of swords right under the ten of spears, that just shows me that this person probably had you in a third party situation. It's like um, this person caused you a lot of heartbreak and pain. This love story caused you a lot of heartbreak and pain with this person. They could have had multiple people. They could have had you in a third party situation. But um, you had a lot of burdens on you due to this heartbreak and pain that this person caused you. And this um, song, Mirror Mirror on the Wall session. So yeah, this person was playing a lot of games with you going back that you just want attention. It's like, you just want attention. Like, let me tell you something. Never have I ever been a size 10 in my whole life. Like, like I literally just came to see what you had to say and you still on that nutty stuff. So now I'm like, hey, 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 bye, bye, bye. You know, like I ain't got time for these burdens in my life. I don't, I got money to make. So you, you playing. So with this intuitive card, just look at it real quick. Um, so what I'm getting with this intuitive card is like, um, you always felt attacked when it came to this person. It's like, you always tend to have your back against the wall or even these two could be you and that person, but it was always other people around. It's like, you always felt like it was always someone else or always other people around. Like you always just felt like you was never protected or you was never, um, yeah, like you was never protected by this person. Like they always put you in situations where you had to defend yourself. You always had to have your guard up. But um, now this is the, my random man card, right? Because this one, I can't find. If anybody ever had this deck and you know what this man is, please comment below. But like I said, this was a pile of random cards that I got. But I want this card was so powerful to me. So I wanted to keep it. I was going to keep it as an intuitive card. So... Although you always had, although this person always put you in a situation where you felt like you always had your guard up, you know that you was always willing to fight and stand firm to what it is that you was going to face. So you, even though they put you in third party situations or put you in burdensome situations, you knew you was a warrior. You knew you was going to always come out on top and you were just trying to give this person a chance to be better. But instead, they kept showing you who they were. So you just... Say, you know what? Time for me to be the chief. Let me get my stuff and I'm going to go. Simple as that. So you have Nomad. Nomad is the nomadic wanderer. Lies deep inside. So take the leap now. Excuse me. Do not crawl back and hide. So with this Nomad card, you finally broke free with this bye bye bye. Ain't it crazy how it's just like lined up like that too? Um, you finally broke broke free with this bye 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 with the Nomad. You decided that it was gonna be time for you to no longer hide, no longer you know allow this person to dictate how you love or how to be loved. That you were going to take a leap of faith and never look back you was going to leave them and never look back and then that's why we got the ten of wills which is the ten of pentacles so the ten of, ten of pentacles is basically get into the bag get into the money you took a leap of faith to leave and now you're on your way to this money you are on your way you're going to um be successful when it comes to relationships you're going to be successful when it comes to financial affairs and achievements it's like you're going to be on top of the world it's like now you're embodying this sphinx energy where you just like now everybody is going to listen to me I'm not going to be nobody fool no more. Like, whenever love comes, like, I'm going to be really bold and in charge. I'm not hiding no more. I'm going to be who I want to be in my love life, and I'm going to show you who I am, which is all the way a boss. I'm a boss in all areas of life. And you just couldn't see that you was playing games, but that's okay, because now I'm going to go on to the next, and I'm going to be happy and fulfilled. You got the emperor energy. Like I said boss so you could kind of be shut off to love that's why you also have the seven of cups right now so although you have the um 
ten of pentacles here that shows that you would be open to like a happy life happy life wife happy life happy wife happy husband like abundance in your in all areas of your life even though you have that it's not that you don't want it right now i believe you're just dealing with your heartbreak at the moment so you have the emperor energy you're just a leader you're focused on getting to this money you're focused on that bag you might be a little money over bees or money over dudes at this time you might really just be focused on getting to the dollar you're not really worried about love at the moment because love had kind of disappointed you in the past you gave your all to someone they played with it so now you just want some you know what i'm just getting to this money period nope i'm just getting to my money nope oh you want love well i'm i'm not really looking for love seven of cups you could be an option though i'm dating i'm dating that's it I'm not really looking for anything solid but you're open with it with the emperor and the seven of cups you're open with telling people that right now you're not really looking for anything stable when it comes to a relationship you rather have a couple different people now you could be a woman or a man watching this you could be into like orgies you could be into crazy sexual different um different sexual plays or whatever with people you could like threesomes all that you could be really freaky like you're just living your life right now you could be bisexual you can you know like the same sex you can you can you just an experiment state of mind too at this time you are living your life you don't have any feelings you're not in an emotional state right now you're just doing you being the boss that you are still getting to this coin getting to the money but you might still be playing but it's not anything serious when it comes to love So that's what I'm showing for this mirror, mirror on the wall segment for pile number four. Um, my best advice number four is just try to heal yourself. You don't want to play games with people because karma is real, right? Even though you're embodying this emperor energy, you a boss getting your paper, just stern, a leader, could be very fiery. You're not taking nobody BS, you know. I'm just getting that you need to heal so if anyone played with your heart don't take it out on people in your future because you can miss your ten of pentacles someone that might be your soulmate that might be your heavily ever after can come into your life and you do this person like a seven of cups right and you won't ever get another chance with this person so just be cautious if you know if someone comes into your life that is embodying this ten of pentacles energy you might just want to if you're not ready for it, you could just be their friend. Don't play games with them. Don't put them in sexual and don't put them in sexual situations where you might have regrets. You might just try to, you know, sleep and duck. <laughs> you know, don't do that to this ten of pentacles person because I show that they would definitely be completely different than this energy down here. All right, my love. So if that resonated, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. It's your girl Crystal, the raw spiritual guru. Until next time.